Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Sydney and I put out videos about once a week. I have a lot of sneaker videos and I have a few more coming. I also have some beauty videos and I have some of those planned as well. So if you're interested in any of that, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on future videos. I have quite a few videos on Yeezy 350s, especially the more recent ones. So be sure to check out my channel if you're curious about any of those. I have videos on the Zions, Israfils, and Carbons, and I picked up these ones. So today we're going to talk about the Naturals. These dropped October 24th. And I got mine from Yeezy Supply and they arrived in the mail via FedEx today and today is October 28th, had to look at the calendar. So if you've seen my other videos, my Zions and Israfils I ordered through Adidas, the Carbons I ordered through Dix and this was through Yeezy Supply so it's a little bit different. I've ordered through Yeezy Supply before but it was years ago like a very long time ago when i sold those shoes so i think it's a lot different now than how it was at that time too i did get these from yeezy supply and it was a little bit different i want to just speak a little bit about that i mean i think the shipping's the same i know i had one pair i think it was my zions that took a really long time to come the fastest were the carbons that came from dicks they came the next day um but in terms of shipping time like i think this was pretty normal like it wasn't like next day like how Dix was but it, I wasn't waiting almost a month I feel like I say this in every video on 350s but I didn't plan on buying these I changed my mind when I saw that the whole like upper basically was reflective and I saw a picture of it like with the flash on and I was like okay so I didn't buy them with the intention to flip or anything. I'm just going to wear them. I feel like if you were going to flip them right now, the resale's not that high. I think it's running like 270 maybe. But I feel like with like white and cream Yeezys, they do go up in value over time. It's just not immediate. For whatever reason, it takes more time. So when I saw that the upper was reflective, I was like, okay, I'll just go for it. Keep it for personal because I have a few Yeezys but I don't have any white ones so I was like it's probably good to have just because it is so basic like it'll be easy to wear. I am honestly very lucky when it comes to Yeezy I don't know why like this goes back I had turtle doves so I've been blessed <laughs> with luck for Yeezy and I think at this point if I really want a pair bad enough I'm pretty good at getting them. Nike it's not the same case. I mean I know it's a lot harder but still. I only tried for these, I think, on Yeezy Supply and the raffle. And like I said, I ended up canceling my um, raffle on the app when I found out I got these from Yeezy Supply. So Yeezy Supply was a little weird because honestly, when I was on it, it didn't seem that promising. I believe that it dropped at 9 a.m. Eastern time on Yeezy Supply. And I don't think I got it until like 9.30. Like I was sitting there and I had multiple tabs open. I ended up getting through my phone actually. And I was just sitting there waiting and time was passing and I wasn't getting through it. Like it had me in the waiting room or whatever. And I was actually really shocked that once I got through, like all the sizes were there too. So I was able to get my size. So I didn't think it was that hard. A lot of the times... I think it's just a waiting game but once you get through it wasn't that bad all the sizes were there you could add it to cart check out no problems one thing now is it charges six dollars for shipping and it's not that big of a deal it's only six dollars but like when you order through adidas or even dicks or like most other places you don't have to pay shipping all right so now for sizing i am a size eight in 350s so in any other shoe, I am a women's nine or men's seven and a half. That's my true to size size. So when it comes to 350s, size up half a size. Also something I want to note that I realized with my carbons as well, because carbons were originally named Azareth, right? And these were originally named Abez and it says it still 
on the label. It says Abez Not Naturals and my carbons, the box says Azareth Not Carbons. So here's what it looks like. It's your typical 350 V2. Again, we're seeing the Infinity Lace, which we've seen on everyone that's dropped since the Isra fills. And that being said, it also has different laces if you want to switch them out. However, if you did want to switch them out, you would have to cut this because this is like all stitched in. Israfils and Zions came with like a card saying that the stitching or something was like unique. And I got questions about my carbon if they came with that. And they did not. Neither did these shoes. And I guess it's because um, this, like the pattern and the stitching, it's the same as the carbon. Whereas the Zions and Israfils, they were the same pattern. So we're seeing like the cross stitching seams right here and like right here. Guys, sorry, I'm still figuring out the lighting. So if it's messed up, sorry. But anyway, yeah, I mean, I don't, if we're being honest, I don't think there's anything very exciting about this shoe. We're familiar with the silhouette. We know it very well. But I think if you're in the market for like a light shoe, then this is good. So your sole's a little bit yellow, which we've been seeing on a lot of shoes now. So very on trend, I suppose. And then this part is all reflective. So down here, it's pretty much just like a white and a cream stitching. The little mesh stripes, like kind of cream off white too and then up here obviously you can see it's just on the one side of the shoe but it's tan and also reflective and here's always reflective as well all right here is an up close Like I said, I think if you were in the market for a like white shoe, then go for this. But other than that, I don't think the resale on this is really worth it. I mean, like I said, the reflective is kind of cool. I wonder if we're going to see more of like the top part being reflective. If you don't have any 350s, they are really comfortable. I wear one all the time. Like I actually... I have a lot of shoes, not even just sneakers. I have a lot of shoes, okay? I wear my 350s all the time because they're just so comfortable. I just throw them on, don't have to worry about tying them. So if that's what you're looking for, I recommend these. I'll also insert clips of me trying them on so you can see how they look on the feet. On the front. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.